guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist and the Airbrush Bronzer from Bath & Body Works, people. They are stepping up their game. They used to just be in the lotion and body wash. Now they are doing bath bombs and they're doing scrubs and they're doing all kinds of things like bronzer and sea salt hairspray. So if you are interested to see how these things perform to get your own, then please keep watching. All right guys, so I went to Bath & Body Works this holiday season or last holiday season. Now that we're in 2018, do we say last holiday season? I guess. 2017 holiday season, that's what we'll say. I was in Bath & Body Works because I had a coupon, of course. Who doesn't go to Bath & Body Works without a coupon? If you do, you're shopping wrong. So anyways, I was in there, I had a coupon for like $10 off a $40 purchase. They were having a buy three signature collection, get four free, which also, by the way, everything in the store is a signature collection. So I'm perusing, you know, nothing's really new. They have like a new line with like soap and scrubs, but I was like, whatever. And then I stumbled upon the At The Beach collection. And this is the sea salt hairspray, or not hairspray, but hair mist. And then this is the airbrush bronzer. And I was like, Bath and Body Works, what? You have hair mist and bronzer? I'ma try this out. So it's January outside, it is below freezing, it's below zero outside, and I'm in here with my tube top about to try some at the beach products because let's be honest here, some of us just look better tan all year round. A lot of us can't rock that alabaster, you know, skin and it does not necessarily look too great. So what we're gonna do, let me, bring my hair down. <clears throat> We're gonna try the sea spray salt, mm, the sea salt hair mist first. And this is a part of their signature collection. Of course, everything is. And it says white sands, warm sunlight, fresh waves, a cool salt water breeze, life's more beautiful at the beach. It says the keynotes is white frangipan blossoms, toasted coconut, bergamot waters, Sea salt breeze, sun-kissed musk. It contains mineral-rich sea salt and nourishing coconut and monoe oils. I don't know how to pronounce that. Leaves hair feeling soft, never sticky or shiny. Use on damp or use on dry or damp hair. Work through hair and use fingertips to scrunch and twirl into sexy beachy blown out style. <laughs> Bath and Body Works. You tease. So I have naturally straight hair, like terribly straight hair. Um, if I use a sea salt hair mist, I generally curl my hair so that like, you know, it gives me a little something. So I have curled my hair. I'm ready to, you know, get my sexy beach blown style Bath and Body Works. Um, we're just, what do the directions? Oh, it doesn't even tell you. That's it. So, we're just going to, my hair is dry, by the way, and uh, now we're just gonna scrunch it up. It smells good. It doesn't smell what you would think it would smell like. It kind of, you can definitely tell the bergamot. The bergamot comes through like really well, and so does the musk. You don't get too much of the toasted coconut, and I'm not really quite sure what frangipan blossom smell like, um, but it doesn't have like a florally scent, but whenever you look at this packaging, which is super cute by the way, you think that it would smell more like beach-like, like lime and coconut, like suntan lotion, banana boat, but it doesn't. It just, I don't know, It it's hard to explain, but it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell beachy, but it smells fresh. So, um, it does leave my hair feeling very soft. And, uh, yeah, I have gained some sexy, beachy, blown out volume, if you will. I like that. This spray 
retails for $16.50. The bottle is 4.9 fluid ounces. Again, you can always shop at Bath & Body Works with a coupon for like $10 off a $30 purchase or $10 off a $40 purchase. But yeah, $16.50 for 4.9 fluid ounces. I am not disappointed with the sexy volume that I'm getting from this. I use a lot of uh, texturizing sprays and this one's a good one. Yeah, I'm not disappointed. It looks nice. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. The only thing that I would say is that like it doesn't have as much hold as I would like for like a sea salt spray. Usually afterwards my hair feels like a little bit crunchy and this leaves my hair feeling very soft but like I also feel like it it will fall really quickly too like it doesn't have a lot of hold if that makes sense does that make sense am I making sense that's definitely a purchase it's a buy this is a huge bottle so it's gonna take me forever to go through this but um yeah if you are one that has naturally wavy hair and naturally curly hair this might even be a much better product for you and it leaves your hair feeling kind of like nice and scented, which is always an A+. On to the airbrush bronzer. I am skeptical about this because it's an aerosol can. Um, and my, my experience with aerosol bronzers is Sally Henson Hansen airbrush bronzers. And that is not necessarily like the cutest look on me. I usually use a foam if you have seen me do the review of the Rodan and Fields Essential Sunless Tanner. I also use the St. Tropez Tanner because as I've stated before on my channel, if you've watched me, tan chub is cuter than pale chub. Um, also, can we get some like color on these lips? Terrible. No color, just a nude lip, but it looks a little better. I am just really skeptical because uh, an aerosol can, even though they say that it leaves it even, it never is even. Ever. So this At The Beach Airbrush Bronzer is part of their signature collection. It has the same fragrance notes as the hair mist. This says, give your skin the ultimate effortless beach worthy tan with our airbrush bronzer. Sheer formula leaves skin, skin? Sheer formula leaves skin sparkling with the perfect hint of tint infused with nourishing coconut oil and soothing aloe. Shake well, apply evenly to body, let dry before dressing. That is not helpful. So where's my flip? We're gonna clip back my hair. We're ready to be bronzed up. Like I said, I am in my sleeveless shirt, my tube top, if you will, bringing back the 90s, as is everybody else. I do have on standby my tanning mitt um, in the event that I have applied it unevenly that hopefully I can, you know, get it a little bit more even, if you know what I'd be say say. So here we go, shake well. I'm just gonna try it on my arm real quick, just to show you. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can tell, um, but this is actually a shimmer. There's sparkles in this. There's sparkles in this. Hmm. It also did not apply evenly. Um. My arm is glittery. Alright, I am trying to not show you my bingo wing, but I'm just trying to show you like the glitter that is in this product. Can you all see that? Ugh, I wish that there was a better way of showing you people the glitter in this product. Oh, there. There it is. Oh lot. A lot. Okay, so <laughs> my arm, it is uneven. Um, I'm gonna, wow, I'm gonna do my chest now. Can you see that? 
Can you see that? Oh, I put way too much on my arm. <laughs> well, this is orange. I don't even know if you can see this. This is orange. Like, here, this is a much better. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. Alright, so I'm actually going to move back because this is a much better color representation of what I just did to my body. Um, it's orange. Like, really orange. <coughs> Spray yourself in a well-ventilated area, people. It's orange. Like, Oompa Loompa orange. And it is glittery. Like, not shimmery. I have glitter all over my body. This is not skin sun-kissed. It is not a glow. It also applies extremely, again, I'm gonna roll back. It applies extremely unevenly, and once it's on the skin, it's on the skin. Like, you can't wipe that. You can't wipe it anywhere. Oh, Bath and Body Works. The Airbrush Bronzer. Do not invest your money in it. You'll be an orange Oompa Loompa. Unless, like for Halloween, if you're going as like a sexy Oompa Loompa, then this is definitely the, uh, the product for you. You will be orange, like the right tone of orange. You will be shimmery. This is where you need to be at. <clears throat> also, the fragrance in aerosol, not as beautiful as the hair mist. Whew! So the airbrush bronzer is $18.50. Do not waste your money on this, people. It is, it is not good at all. It's glittery, it's orange, it is not the bronzer of your life. Please, please stick with something that's a little bit more subtle, like the Rodan and Fields Essentials or the Saint Tropez uh, bronzing mousse or loving tan. Oh my gosh, do not invest your money in this. I'm glad I had a coupon and it was like free basically. This is a no-go. The hair mist, yes, get the hair mist. It left my hair feeling super sexy and beachy and blown out and gorgeous and wonderful. The bronzer left me feeling like a sexy Oompa Loompa. But at least it's a sexy Oompa Loompa and not just an Oompa Loompa. Alright guys, so that was my review of the At The Beach Hair Mist and Airbrush Bronzer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Did you even know Bath & Body Works had hair mist and bronzer? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried these products as well. Um, I'd be interested to know what other people think as well. As always, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and reviews. Thanks so much for watching.